So this is news to me, but maybe not you. Maybe I'm just late to the party. I don't know. Alexander Usyk's promoter gave an in-depth <laughs> interview on Boxing Social. Go check it out if you feel like it. Krasiuk is never a bad interview. Give the video a like, comment, sub. Check out my Patreon where I am will be film studying this upcoming big fight. According to Krasiu, getting back to this video, making it real quick for you. Tyson Fury and Usyk, or they were negotiating the fight uh, with Tyson Fury on behalf of Alexander Usyk. After Usyk beat Anthony Joshua and had the three titles with Fury having the W holding the WBC title. And according to Krasiuk, and I have no reason to believe he's lying, I mean, what would be the point of that? Both uh, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, who was Tyson Fury's mandatory, agreed to um, step down, agreed to step aside to make the big fight happen. And Tyson Fury changed his mind instead of fighting Usyk for... All the belts, I'm assuming all the belts would have been on the line, right? It's not like AJ said, yeah, you could go fight Tyson Fury, but you can't fight for the belts because that's, that's a non-starter. You can't even approach Tyson Fury about fighting Usyk unless Usyk has the three belts. So I'm just going to assume that, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, if you have any uh, information to the contrary, right? So apparently, and I'm totally inclined to believe this. I think this is true. Tyson Fury refused to give the fans undisputed versus Usyk and chose to fight that fixed fucking fight against that bum Dillian White instead. Are you fucking kidding me? See, this is this is this is why I can't I can't fuck with guys like Tyson Fury. Now, I was there when all of you Johnny come latelys either didn't know the man existed, didn't give a fuck about him, or was still swinging off prices, uh, you know what, right? And didn't give two shits about Tyson Fury for whatever reason. I was there telling you that this guy will beat Klitschko and he's the next man in the heavyweight division. Because he was on his way up, he wanted the big fights, and he he got at least one, right? He was there doing the right thing for the boxing fan. And if I, anybody was ducking, it was people ducking Fury. Right, But then he ducked Klitschko for the rematch, and he's been doing the whole Mayweather charade ever since. Okay, And now it's painfully obvious that, well, he retired because of Alexander Usyk, right? for, long, for all intents and purposes, and if only temporarily, retired Tyson Fury. This fucking guy could have given us fans undisputed but chose to fight that bomb Mando, Dillian fucking White. I, so, you know, I've been seeing through Fury for a while now. I'm, I'm off, been off the bandwagon for a while now. Uh, obviously, that hasn't af affected how I pick his fights, right? I mean, I'm able to, you know, keep my fucking emotions in check when it comes to uh, predicting fights and shit, but I don't understand how this fucking clown uh, can have all these people support him while pretending to be boxing fans, right? It is nothing but fanboys when, when it comes to Team Tyson Fury at this point in time. You got to be a fucking fanboy to still dick right this dude, man. He could have given... Like, what are, you, what are you into boxing for, right? Are you here to see the best versus the best at their best? Or are you here to dick ride, right? It ain't hard to tell who's who. Anyway, man, I can't fucking believe it, man. And I was, at that time anyway, I was picking Fury to beat Usyk. And I wanted to see the, the goddamn fight. Man, fuck this shit. Fuck this clown, man. Fuck, fuck Tyson Fury fanboys. You, you're, you, you clowns are something fucking else, man. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh.